Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, we are from group four. Today we will do the presentation about integrated pest management in shallots. First of all, let me introduce of the group members. I am Corin Adelino Tahayan with student number 186, Lung Dharma Bhakti with student number 188, Teksenia Saswati with student number 189, Ana Rustiana Maharani with student number 192, Shifa Fairuz Zahra with student number 194. Next. Introduction. Shallots are an agricultural commodity that is widely consumed by Indonesians as a cooking spice. The shallot plant is thought to have originated from Central Asia, especially Palestine and India, but some estimate its origin from Southeast Asia and the Mediterranean. Shallots that are a breed in Indonesia consist of many different varieties with their respective advantage and disadvantage. Shallots do not stand dryness because they have short roots and also cannot stand rainwater. So planting will be better done at the end of the dry season or at the end of the rainy season. Next. Uh, we will talk about shallot pest. The first is onion caterpillar, uh, then gaya caterpillar or army worms, and the third trips, the fourth leaf miner fly, and the last orang orang. Next. First is onion caterpillar or Podoptera exigu. Adult insects are moths with the gray fur wings and slightly white hind wings. When young, the larvae are light green, and when they are old, they are dark greenish green with yellowish stripes. After hatching from the egg, the young caterpillar immediately makes a hole in the tip of the leaf and then enters the leaf. As a result, the leaf tip appears hollow or cut. As a result of this attack, the legs look trans, trans, translucent or see wet spots. Even newly, the leaves will drop. How to control it? First, farming, including timing of planting, crop rotation, sanitation, intercropping, or monoculture use of high quality and healthy seeds, etc. Second, collecting group of eggs and caterpillars of onion and then boot. In, inserted in a plastic bag and tied and destroyed. Third, using insect, insecticides permitted by the Minister of Agriculture. Therefore, installing like strap Utilization of biological agents using the C NPV and the parasite Epentelus SP. Second is Graya caterpillars or army worms. The moth is dark in color with a white stripe on the four wings while the hands with are wet with black spots. As caterpillars attack young and old leaves, symptoms are characterized by the emergence of transparency with spots on the leaves. In the first attack, it causes the leaves to dry up and can even attack the onion bulb. Okay, how to control it? We can use an installation of light traps and also control with pheromone traps. Second, picking up the caterpillars and collecting the eggs directly, and then destroy the symptomatic leaves by burning or, or buried deep in the ground. Third, changing plant species in one field to break the life cycle of the army worms. 
The last one is using insecticide with the active ingredients of chlorpenapyr and fluvenosuron. Next. The third pest is trips or tea tabachi. Next. The body is thin, approximately one millimeter long and with tufted wings. The color of the body is yellow and changes to brown to black when it is mature. Symptom of leaf attack are silvery white. In a severed, in, in a severed attack, the entry planting area turns white and eventually the plant dies. Several attacks occur at an average air temperature above normal and humidity of more than 70%. How to control it? Cutting the affected leaves and has become a nest of nymphs and imago and prune. Self-adhesive yellow trap installation trips really like yellow. Spraying insect insecticide with the active ingredient of abemectin, acetate, etc. Next. And then the next one is Live mineral fly. Next. This pest is has 1.7 until 2.3 millimeters long. The entire black bag is black. The eggs are white, clear, and measuring by 0.28 millimeters at 0.15 millimeters. The symptoms of attack shallots are white spots due to, due to the puncture of the ovipositor and winding larval burrows. In a state of surf attack, almost the entire leaf blade is full of muscus, so that it becomes dry and brown like burning. Next. The way to control this pest is by planting in the dry season, doing crop rotation with non-onion plants, use of the resistant varieties such as the Kuning 19, Pima, and then Sumanap. Next is the use of natural enemies, intercropping between beans and onions, use of the yellow sticky trap, and using insecticide with the active ingredients of psilomyzin, emetanin, benzoate, catap, and also spinosad. Next, the next pest is orong orong or Cryolopta africana palm. This imago resembles a clover, has a pair of strong four legs, and fly at night. The nymphs are like adult, but smaller in size. It is highly polyphagous, eating roots, tubers, young plants, and small insects such as aphids. This pest attacks plant at first one, two, three weeks after planting. The symptoms of the attack are indicated by the wilting of the plant because the plant roots are damaged. Next. There is three ways to control orang -orang. The first one is the use of mature manure and maintain the cleanliness of the land, or we can uh, call uh, sanitation of the planting area from which Second way is in the installation of a toxic bait formulated from uh, 10 kg of brand mixed with 10 ml of the recommended insecticide spread on the salad planting beads in the afternoon. The last way is uh, utilization of natural enemies such as the predator Labidura riparia, the parasitoid Neatobium gralotalpei and the insect pathogen is Peveria dasiana. Next. Okay, there is the, the this is the conclusion of uh, our discussion. Pests that can attack shallot plants include onion satupelar is uh, Spodoptera exigua, uh, army worm Spodoptera litura. Drips tabasi, leaf mineral fly uh, liriomiza sinensis, dan or and orang orang. Various pest control methods can be used to minimize yield losses due to the pest attacks.
There's our mechanical, physical, cultural, chemical, and biological control. Okay, thank you from us. Uh, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.